Aniara from 2018. I know what you're thinking. Oh, great. Yet another Swedish language sci-fi movie based on an epic sci-fi poem from the 1950s. Psh, theme song. If you want to see any hour, check the link in the description. As I was joking in the introduction, this is a Swedish language movie based on an epic poem from Sweden that was written in 1956 by a guy I'd never heard of him, Harry Martinson. And apparently this is a well-known and respected poem in Sweden. And I have to ask, Sweden, are you okay? Because this is really depressing. I know there's like a history of you know Nordic nihilism and that was a Nordic noir, but this seems like it's pretty bleak. Um, I was mentioning it's based on this poem. It's well known. I looked into it and on IMDb, I saw that the poem came out in 58 by 1960. There was already an opera and a TV movie, which I think was just a recording of the opera. And that's on archive.org. And it is the most 60s thing ever. So I recommend taking a peek at it to see what that is like. So what's it about? Well, it reminded me a lot of Avenue 5, the TV show that was canceled. They're both about these sort of passenger spaceships. That uh, something happens and they get stranded in space. And unlike Avenue 5, which kind of use humor, it's a stupid name though. I think that's kind of one of the reasons why the show got canceled because like Avenue 5, what is that about? Doesn't say it much. But Avenue 5 used kind of dark humor to deal with the situation being stranded and this film just goes straight for depression. So we're in the future and our main character is a woman. We kind of follow her around most of the time. Everybody just seems to call her by her job title, Mima Robe. I don't know if that means something in, 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 in Swedish. Apparently, the epic poem also had created a lot of new words to make it seem like it was futuristic. Uh, but she works on the spaceship named Aniara. And it's in like this VR empathy room. It's not really VR because they don't wear goggles, but they go in there and they see things and make them happy, deal with their sadness. And as you can imagine, after the engines, that there's, that, that there's an accident and they can't stop, they can't turn around, the VR room Mima gets really overwhelmed. And as we go along, we start having time jumps. We see first there's a year, then I think two years and five years, and then the jumps get larger and larger. And we see that... As time goes on, life on the ship gets worse and worse. Uh, people, we were told there are tons of suicides. Uh, each sort of time jump comes with like a little chapter title. And one of them I think is cults. And our main character gets kind of caught up in this not at all sexy orgy based cult thing. So there is a lot of nudity, uh, full frontal male and female. But like I said, it's not sexy at all. The captain uh, becomes more and more distant and sort of dictatorial. Uh, but overall, it's just more and more depressed. And in some ways, it reminded me of the middle section of the original Dawn of the Dead, where the people are... They've secured the mall they're living in, but they can't go outside, so they're just kind of getting bored. But in that movie, you know, they had the action of the biker gang comes and invades. But in here, there's no action. Just trying to people trying to live, keep living when there's no point in it. 
So the movie Annie Ara stayed with me and I kept sort of thinking about it and that feeling, it was more of the feeling of pointlessness and, and what, why bother? So if you're depressed, I would not watch this. The movie is not perfect. Uh, for example, they don't really seem to, at least I don't remember any explanation there for why they have no contact with earth or why earth isn't trying to rescue them. They also hand wave away uh, the fact, why is there gravity on this ship? And it's not just uh, based on their acceleration, giving them simulating it. So I still liked it though. I would say if you're interested in depressing sci-fi, I can re recommend it. I give Aniara four thumbs up. It's so depressing. So does Sweden need a hug? Norway, get on that.